Hey everyone, Travis Tom here with Elevated Real Estate Marketing. I'm gonna dive deep into OCPM versus CPM. But before I do that, if you don't know who I am, I'm a Facebook marketing strategist for the real estate industry. I'm here to help you guys understand how to create successful Facebook ad campaigns. So I've gotten a few different questions from a few folks. What is CPM? versus OCPM. Well, CPM is cost per thousand impressions. So cost per thousand impressions, CPM. It's a metric that you're gonna see in your Facebook advertising campaigns, but it's also a, uh, a bidding strategy that you're choosing when you choose an objective. Uh, when you first create a Facebook ad campaign, you can choose brand awareness or reach, whatever those might be. Um, that's gonna be CPM. That's gonna be cost per thousand impressions. Basically, what it's utilizing is Facebook to get the message out to as many people as possible, right? To get them to see your ad, right? Impressions, to get those eyeballs on those ads. It's very different than OCPM, which is optimized cost per thousand impressions. Optimized cost per thousand impressions is based off of the Facebook algorithm. It really dives deeper into the data. What it does is it really focuses on who's in that audience that you've built, who are the people that are expected to take action. So if it's video views, if it's engagement, if it's traffic to go to a website, if it's landing page views, or if it's conversions, or someone filling out a Facebook lead ad, those are all really focused and considered OCPM, optimized cost per thousand mile impressions. What that does is really tap into the algorithm and let Facebook do its magic of really reading through the data, sifting through people to see what they've done in the past, in the present, and who's likely to take specific action on that objective, whatever your goal is, and complete it for you. So when you're using OCPM, any of those things that are typically kind of in that middle of the objective when you're creating that Facebook ad campaign, you're just starting, you're choosing what the objective is, you're gonna choose traffic, lead generation, engagement, video views, or conversions. That's gonna be OCPM. That's where you're gonna really put all of the Facebook algorithm and the data to hard work. And it's gonna start really sifting through and going through what's called a learning phase to find out who those prospects are. And then it's gonna move into what's called a pacing mode directly after that. So what should you choose, CPM or OCPM. Well, there's a difference between the two of them, as you know, as you just found out. But what do you want? Well, it depends on your goal. It depends on the campaign that you're trying to run. If you want everyone in a specific market or a specific neighborhood to see your face and brand and name all over Facebook for the next, let's say, two weeks, and to really make sure that you get thousands of people that really see you, but may not take action like click on the ad and go to the website or become a lead in some sort of fashion. Really, just a billboard, right? Just to see you. That's gonna be either brand awareness or reach, something like that. If you are running a retargeting campaign and you want everyone that interacts with your top of funnel to engage and then really see your ad, well, same thing, you're probably gonna be able to use reach may not be uh, great for engagement or lead generation or any of those things but they're gonna see it right but if you want someone to take specific action become a lead or go to a website or engage and comment and like and share those kind of things that's gonna be OCPM right optimize cost per thousand mile impressions leveraging Facebook's data that they have and really let it do the magic for you so it depends on what your goal is, but if you are going to do a combination of both and you're not quite sure which one to use, just keep in mind, if you want Facebook to take specific action for your specific goal, use OCPM. If you want people to just do brand awareness and see your face and name everywhere, use brand awareness or reach. Either way, make sure that your goal is in line with the ad objective.